Good day, it's Icky here again. It is the 31st of March, I believe, and about 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, up to the wee hours of the morning, boiling sap last night, up early this morning, um, still boiling sap. It really ran yesterday. I'm probably still 12 hours away from catching up. Uh, I want to thank everyone that gave me feedback on my stories of Flipper yesterday. I have, well, a couple more dog stories, but only one today. And I apologize, I cannot even remember the poor dog's name. I've got a, oh, there goes the fire alarm in the cabin. I've got the window open, the smoke from the wood stove keeps setting it off. I don't have a fire going inside right now. My eldest sister, the one that adopted Flipper, and her husband, uh, living down in Toronto, brought us out to the farm, a friend's puppy. Puppy was eight, nine months old. Um, they lived in a condominium, as I recall, and he just got too big. I believe he was a purebred. I can't remember the breed, but call him Husky. White, blonde, long hair, blue eyes, gorgeous dog. Unfortunately, we only had him for about two weeks. Um, talking about Flipper yesterday in the Porcupine, this pup tangled with the Porcupine and then lost it and actually ate the Porcupine. Dad called the vet the vet came out, looked at him, shook his head, and said, There's nothing we can do. The quills are all down his throat and in his stomach, and put him down. And again, this was a different time. The vet did not give him a needle or anything like that. He just said, put him down, and left. So, Dad got out the gun, did the deed, hauled him, as I recall, one field back on the farm, barley oat field, built a huge bonfire and cremated him. Uh, my job after that, I think I've related before that we were on very, very heavy clay. Uh, whenever we had a big fire, the clay would turn to bricks underneath the fire. Uh, my job was to take a pickaxe and break it into chunks at least enough that the tractor and three furrow plow could pull through it later in the year. Sad story. I'm glad I have not seen porcupines up here. I would hate to have Bailey tangle with one. Because Bailey being Bailey would not back off. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I wish I could remember the dog's name. I'm sorry, I'm embarrassed about that. But again, we only had him for about two weeks. Um, I've got a call in to my mother, but apparently she's out today, so, and I doubt if she remembers. Anyways, I'll get back to you later. I'm going to be out here boiling maple sap. Oh, the fresh sap goes in the rectangular pan. When it reduces down, it goes into the oval. So the oval pan is actually syrup. Uh, probably getting close to bottling. Again, it's going to be a late night, early morning. 
I'll talk to you later. Icky out. Journey, not the destination, people.